Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Speed Build Saturday again. Ah, uh, don't get used to this, I swear, it's not gonna keep happening. I keep doing room builds and or like small builds on Saturdays. Usually I only build on Wednesdays and, and Sundays on my channel, but for some reason, the last three weeks I've done builds on Saturdays too. And again, don't get used to this. It's just a thing that I keep doing. I've always had Saturdays as kind of like a random upload days where I can just do like a cast video or like a whatever, not so berry challenge update. But I've been wanting to do more room builds recently and so I started doing those. Uh, but I don't want to get stuck in like a having to do room builds on Saturdays kind of thing. So again, don't get used to it. But for now, <laughs> I've been doing them. Uh, again, still build tomorrow, obviously on Sunday like usual. It's also my 100th speed build tomorrow. And so I've spent a lot of time building this week. I spent like five hours on it already, this build, because it's really big and it's a mess. But um, <laughs> it's still not done. I'll be doing that today. And uh, that's my 100th speed build coming your way tomorrow, which is crazy. I haven't... I don't really have anything planned for the voiceover. I feel like it needs to be special though, but I, like, I don't know what to do for it, which is a problem, but stay tuned for that. Um, also, this room is kind of cool. I wanted to go for like a, the thing with these room builds is that I can do things that I couldn't usually do in my builds because usually when I do bedrooms in my builds, they kind of have to be functional for one. And two, I like to make them so that they're good for anyone's sim. So like if you download my house and you want to like decorate it again for your own sim, it can kind of either one apply to any sim or two, you can just like delete it and redo it. So I don't want to spend like hours making a bedroom for a sim that doesn't even exist and then just have it deleted. You know, because I feel like when I play in a house someone else made, I always keep like the main house and then redo the bedrooms. And so I try and keep them kind of generic looking in my own builds, but that's kind of boring. And with these builds, I can, the room builds, I keep saying builds, I can do whatever I want. And so I did that. I did a cool split level thing, uh, which isn't actually a thing in The Sims, obviously, because there's no like terrain editing or anything, but if you use foundations, you can kind of make a split level inside of a room. And so I did that, uh, which you can see here. Um, I can't upload this room as one room on the gallery though because it, it counts as two rooms technically because the way the game room system works, uh, but it, it is on the gallery for you if you want to play in it. Um, you just got to kind of place it weird and also it's kind of hard to place this room in your own build uh, if it doesn't already fit the style of the house that you have because it's like this weird split level thing, but hey, you know what? If you want to play in it, she exists for you. <laughs> I worked hard. I spent like an hour doing this one room. It's like a 54 minute recording, I think, which is ridiculous because it's it's one bedroom and it took me 54 minutes. To be fair, I was on the phone with my friend Hattie while I did it, uh, so I wasn't actually focused the entire time. Also, she got partnered in the middle of my recording this, and so I kind of like took a second to like um, help her like talk through her, like on, partnered on Twitch. Sorry, I, forget, I failed to mention that part. <laughs> partnered on Twitch, and so I kind of took a second to like help her suck up like set up, set up, set up tax forms and stuff um, and like talk her through that and also to sub to her because I was her first Twitch sub. I was my friend Steph's first Twitch sub and Hattie's first Twitch sub. I'm just saying I'm kind of a great friend. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> but if you want to go follow them on Twitch, you know what? I'll link it down below. I'm going to write that down because otherwise I'll forget. Hey, hey, I've got sticky notes for a reason. Um, Twitch links. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about them because my friends are pretty great. So Hattie and Steph, you guys know Hattie and Steph Sims for sure. Hattie is a, a, a major build inspiration for me. Um, you guys know Hattie for sure if you watch builds on YouTube, but, and Steph too, obviously, because they're both really great builders. But I just build the same blue suburban house over and over again. <laughs> they build really cool things. And whenever I do these interiors of these bedrooms, I always channel my inner Steph. Like last week when I was building that like opposite twins bedroom, I told Hattie, I was like, I'm channeling my inner Steph Sims right now. <laughs> Because I feel like her interiors are so nice and Hattie's just really good at building. It's kind of annoying. She built the Death Star. No, she didn't. She built the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> she was gonna build the Death Star, didn't. Um, and she just builds these really crazy cool things and I can't do that. I can just build these nice suburban houses, but they're very impressive. So you should check them out and they're on Twitch now. So you should give them a follow over and follow me on Twitch. You know what? Free promo for everyone. <laughs> follow us all on Twitch, please. Um, yeah, I, oh my god, okay, so I always hate building on stream, right, because the chat I found can be kind of mean when you build, they don't, I don't think they mean to be mean, but usually when you build on stream, at least when I build on stream, the chat gets kind of pushy and aggressive, and they're like, no, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and you're like, ah, I'm sorry, I can't do it all, ah, and it's like very, um, it's overwhelming for me at least, um, but on Thursday, <laughs> I was like, I kind of want to build on stream tonight, and so I started this new 100 baby challenge house, and if you haven't seen, in my baby challenge, I have what I call a spooky mansion of doom. And I wanted a new spooky mansion of doom, and so I started working on that. And before I started streaming, I told my friend, I was like, Jack, listen, I'm going to regret this. <laughs> Just you wait. Five minutes in, I was like, wow, I already hate building on stream. And so um, 
I know that Hattie has, sort of, has done some building on stream recently and she's like, she can handle it well. She's good at that. I can't build on stream. It just, I find it to be so stressful and I keep like, I always will do it and then I'll be like, wait, no, this sucks, never again. And then like a month later, I'm like, I should give it a try again. <laughs> And then I take it all back because it's such a bad idea because it's just it's so much But if you missed that stream, you can watch the VOD on my YouTube channel. My second channel. It's called more Simsy um, I did start building a spooky mansion of doom. It took me three hours and I just did the exterior and kind of did the kitchen so <laughs> That's me you just building on stream and building when I'm around people usually if I'm alone I'm uh, just like listening to podcasts and stuff. I can crank out a build in like two hours but if I'm like talking to someone while I do it or streaming even worse it takes me so much longer because it's so distracting because I can't just like sit there and build I always am like oh let me just check twitter really fast and let me just help you with this thing and it just gets so distracting and it's not a good idea I need to focus more I have lots of building to do what am I even talking about right now oh my god I'm so sorry I can't believe that I spent an hour on this one room like that is shocking to me I used to be such a fast builder I could do rooms in like three minutes you know like in my speed builds like my house builds that I do because I build the, I kind of do the same room over and over again as the thing but I can build those so fast like I can make a whole house in an hour and a half you know and then it takes me 54 minutes to make this one bedroom <laughs> and it's just this it's a very uh monochromatic color scheme and everything and I still couldn't I an hour took me an hour that's embarrassing I'm sorry and I, just, I can't even put it on the gallery. What a bad, what a poor choice of room build to do because you guys can't even play in it. It took me an hour. It's all one color. Eh, well, two colors. And you can't even use it because it's a stupid split level. But it's very cool and I had fun doing it. And that's the key, right? Is to have fun making your stupid room builds that are not functional. I mean, your Sims can use this room. It just doesn't, <laughs> it's not very uh, practical for use is my point. Um, but it was fun to build. Again, that's the point is that it was fun to build. And it's cool. I already said that. I, guys, can you tell I'm going crazy? I haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> it's been two weeks since since the semester started. I've been staying up super late and getting up super early because I um, have class every morning. But one, I'm on internet time, which is you stay up super late because internet people. And two, um, I always have just lots of things to do. <laughs> and so I'm up super late doing them and then not sleeping. And then I go to bed at three and get up at eight. And it's not a good idea. I need to fix that. I need to not. I need to stop being on Discord with my friends so much. Uh, it's my own fault. I did this to myself, but it's okay. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine, you guys. <laughs> I'm thinking of that, the meme, you know, the meme, the dog and the flames, that meme. That's how I feel right now. Um, but that's, that's how I always feel, actually, now that I think about it. Um, hmm, that's kind of dark. Uh, that's, I think, one of my top five favorite memes of all time. Close second Maybe even top one. Close second is the picture of that guy from Snapchat and it says, I don't know why I'm crying in the club right now. That one's a really good meme as well. Um, just throwing that out there. <laughs> you know what? Let me know your favorite meme in the comments down below. <laughs> this voiceover is going so, it's gone so far downhill. I'm, this always happens to me though. I've noticed, especially recently. My apologies, you guys. You don't deserve this. Please feel free to unsubscribe. <laughs> Take your business elsewhere. I don't deserve this. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and cut off here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're getting very close to the end. I want to make sure I make it to the very end of the voiceover, but I'm probably not going to. But make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I'm posting videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. This isn't the end. That's terrible. At least I have screenshots coming up soon and some Wii music. Start it right now if you want to, Kayla. Get it started early. We can have, we can dance together as we just sit here and wait for the build to end. Okay, now it's actually over. So I'm gonna go. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, something, whatever. Bye, everybody. What a mess. I, this this keeps happening. My voiceovers are getting progressively worse as the time goes on. They used to be okay, and then they got really bad, and then they got better, and now they're just getting worse again. It's a downward spiral.